Adam, I've got a slight bit of... Adam bigotry. Hills and Alex Brooker are here, by the way. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a bit of bigotry. Yeah. I tweeted uh, about a year ago a, a picture, <laughs> a picture <laughs> of Daniel Craig in a papoose. And I made a comment, come on, not you as well, Bond, right? It's just, you know, and he got everyone going. Yeah. You responded as follows. <laughs> Hang on, where's the hashtag on that? Oh, F off, Piers, yeah. you mercenary. At least You'll you honestly say asterisk. anything for ratings, cash and views. Now... First of all... That's why yeah, he's employed. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'll do. Uh, yeah. But secondly, here's your chance to, to show a little bit of humility and regret the, the tone of the... Cos I always thought we got on well. And I pick up Twitter and suddenly <laughs> I'm being abused by you, one of my, my comedic heroes. And but, now here you are on my show helping me get ratings, cash and views. Something like... Sorry, Piers, I We're didn't not mean to be quite in the so rain. rude. <laughs> well, firstly, on your original tweet, if I'm not mistaken, you used the hashtag emasculated. Yes. So you were calling into question his masculinity for looking after <laughs> his own child, which I think there are several issues with. But secondly, I mean, I know you, Piers, most of this is an act. Like, there's one of two things going on. Either you are a terribly odious, horrible human being who <laughs> believes everything you say on Let's TV. Let's not rule out that possibility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's not be too hasty. Or you're pretending to be a terrible, odious, horrible human being in order to be paid. Well, I would take issue with that. So it's interesting, isn't it? Because that's a very last-leg view. Your audience would all be roaring if you said that if I was on your show. And yet you would find on this show that my apparently odious views are shared by 90% of the yeah. wider British Doesn't public. Doesn't mean the 10% Do you think wrong, the last the leg, way. in a way... It's not representative of the wider public, but it's just a bunch of smart ass snowflake liberals all laughing at people who have the more mainstream views. I think we put it this. Is that worse than being a half ass snowflake liberal but pretending not to be? <laughs> yeah. Which Alex, is what you do. I feel like we've stumbled into a personal yeah, row. At the here. moment, my, my stool just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> also, I've got nothing, I've got no qualms with pretending to be something you're not for telly. Like, mm. I'm not disabled. <laughs> <laughs> I put these little gloves on to get work on the last leg, and to be honest with you, yeah, it's got, got me cash, and maybe not the ratings. Look, joking, me... j joking apart, I actually... Uh, I love the last leg, because it is, it is provocative. It, it can be very rude, be very rude about me. I'm surprised yeah. by how, uh, at how many people actually tune in to get the news from us. Mm. You know, what, what we try to do is... If you want to make jokes about what's in the news, you've got to break it down into digestible mm. chunks first. Okay. It's kind of what we did with the Paralympics. If you want to make jokes about disability, you've got to make disability accessible and easy to understand. Yeah. And we do that with the news, and because of that, people now turn to us to get their news. People tune in on a Friday night, so now there's an added responsibility of making sure that we report the news the right way. And right. You've, didn't you just run a poll on who would be the best Tory leader? I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's we said, political discussion, isn't it? And they came up with the result. Actually, it doesn't surprise yeah. me from your programme. Well, yes, yeah, 70% of our viewers said of the current candidates they would prefer Rory Stewart. Yeah. Uh, and then he retweeted that and said, it's my most overwhelming but least scientific poll. <laughs> Possibly not helped by the <laughs> fact that... Is it because, do you think, that your audience, it would be predominantly Liberal, do they see yeah. him really as one of them, not really as a Tory? Uh, yeah, very possibly. I mean, I think, I think he's nailed social media really well. He's yeah. done a lot of that stuff yeah. of getting out and, and uh, filming himself on the streets. That, that, cl that clip of him where he goes to sit on the spiked fence, I still don't know physically how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> And we've had it on the show so many it is, times. It's disturbing. If I, if I had one question to him, How? Be, what would you do as Prime Minister? What happened with that spot? <laughs> Where did it go? And does no. that explain why he spent most of last night at the debate sitting like this? <laughs> Very <laughs> weird. Yeah. And then with his arms up. Yeah. Oh we've my got to goodness. talk about your beer before we let you go, because oh, yeah. you've agreed to not shave it off until Brexit gets resolved. This might be the world's longest ever beard. Well, at the beginning of the year, we had a 10-week season that finished on March 29. And I said, all right, we'd we run out of jokes about Brexit. And I said, I'm going to grow my beard until March 29 and then we'll shave it off when we leave the EU. Yeah. <laughs> and it may then... not even happen at Halloween. <laughs> I know. the trouble. Alex, any political so... statements of facial hair from you? No, actually, in fact, I'm getting my beard trimmed later. It really annoys <laughs> me when it gets a little bit uh, scraggly. <laughs> so I sat around to him when we were in makeup and I was like, oh, I've got to get my beard sorted. Well, James, it's good to have you. Uh, 17th series off and yeah. running now. Yeah. Uh, best of luck. Do you know the lovely thing about that tweet that you showed of mine? Mm. I know earlier in the show you accidentally put the wrong date. You yes, October 15... 9th, 2019. I'm assuming it's still going to be appropriate on that date. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? All the passive I'll aggression. Give you, I'll give you the passive yeah, I'll give aggression. You I have I'll no papoose for you. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're now going to go and have a fight, so let's go to Lorraine Kelly while I beat the out of... <laughs> 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 <laughs>